Number 66. A 2 and 7.5 microfarad capacitor can be connected in series or parallel, as can a 25 and 100 kilo ohm resistor. Calculate the four RC time constants possible from connecting the resulting capacitance and resistance in series um, and in parallel. All right. So we kind of have to. Um, yeah, I think that's what they want. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so we have a couple of ways that we can connect these capacitors and and resistances. Just consider that either the resistance could have been in series and the capacitors could be in series, or the resistance could be in series and the capacitors could be in parallel, or the resistors could be in parallel and the capacitors could be in series, or the resistors could be in parallel and the capacitors could be in parallel. Be in parallel. <gasps> okay, those are the four types. Now we got to do each. Now recall, and this is easy. This is how I remember it. So resistances in series, take a look at the right-hand side are added together. Resistances in parallel are also added together, but it's the reciprocal, right? Capacitance is the exact opposite. In other words, one over the capacitance in series will equal one over the capacitance of number one, one over the capacitance of number two, etc. Okay. And the capacitance in parallel now, CP, will be all the capacitances added together. Okay? So just remember that the capacitance is kind of like the opposite, uh, so to speak, of um, formulaically <laughs> uh, in terms of the resistance values. So I'm just going to calculate the resist. I'm going to calculate resistance in series, resistance in parallel. So resistance in series, that's easy. Just be careful they gave it to you in kilo ohms. So it's going to be 25, 25 kilo ohms plus 100 kilo ohms would equal then 125 kilo ohms. But you know we need that in ohms, so simply multiply that by 10 to the third ohms. Okay, that's the resistance in series. The resistance in parallel is a little more complicated because we know that 1 over the resistance in parallel is simply going to be 1 over now, 25 kilo ohms. I'm going to do the whole calculation in kilo ohms for now, and then just convert to ohms at the end, uh, plus then 1 over the 100 kilo ohms. So this would be 1 over RP is equal to, let's do it. So this is now going to be um, 1 over 25 plus 1 over 100. So that's going to be uh, 0 0.05 over 1, but you got to find RP, not 1 over RP, so just flip both sides. So in other words, RP is simply going to be 1 over now 0 0.05, and when you do that division, it should work out to be uh, 20. I'm just going to double check. Good. So the resistance in parallel here is going to be 20 kilo ohms, right? So we need that in terms of ohms, so just simply multiply that by 10 to the third ohms, all right? So let's take that and put it on up here. And let's erase this work. That's the resistance in parallel. All right. Great. I'm going to erase some of this stuff too for now. Move this on over. Okay. Now guess what we got to do? We got to find the same thing. Right? The capacitance in parallel is now just added together. C1 plus C2. Okay? It's the opposite. It, it goes follows the formula for series resistance, okay? So now the capacitance, they're giving us 2 and 7.5 microfarads. So simply add them together. 2 plus the 7.5 is 9.5 microfarads, but you know we need that in farads, so that's simply going to be times 10 to the minus 6, okay? So we get 9, 9.50 times 10 to the minus 6 farads now. And then the capacitance in series, uh, so the capacitance 1 over the capacitance in series will be equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this will be 1 over 2 plus 1 over 7.5. Now remember those are in micro farads. I'm going to do the conversion at the end. So let's just simply plug that on into the calculator. So this is just 1 over 2 plus 1 over 7.5. You get a value of about 0 0.633. Remember that's over 1, but we got to flip both sides. So now to find the capacitance in series, it's simply going to be 1 divided by 0 0.633, 3333, and um, 1.579. Uh, so I guess 1.58, I don't know, 3 sig figure, yeah, it doesn't matter, right? Now remember that's in microfarads, but we need that in farads, so therefore just take that and multiply it by 10 to the minus 6. All right, now... There we go. So these these are our values. And now all you got to do is just go to town. In other words, 
In other words, let me just box that in. Give me one quick second. Okay, so in other words, yep, well, what are you gonna do? So in other words, well, in other words, how's your semester? I hope it's going well. Um, or your, if you're in high school, how's your year going? I hope, hope good, right? Hope good. Um, now all you got to do is go to town. So for example, we got to find the time constants. So the four formulas, and I'm only going to calculate one of them because I mean, from here, you just got to throw it into the calculator. Okay. So the four types are going to be this, the time constant, uh, one type of them. Okay. One type of time constant could be just these combinations, right? This will be resistance in series multiplied by cap uh, capacitance in series. This one could be then the resistance in series multiplied by the, by the capacitance in parallel. This will be our, um, for the third option is going to be resistance parallel times the capacitance in series. Oh my goodness. And then this is going to be now the resistance in parallel multiplied by the capacitance in parallel. I'm going to choose this one to calculate. And obviously the rest are just going to be plugging on in. So resistance in series we said was the one point or 125 times 10 to the third. Multiply that now by the capacitance in series, which is this 1.58 times 10 to the minus sixth. Plug it on into the calculator. So we got 125 times 10 to the third times then 1.58. I'm going to try to use, yeah, I'm going to try to use that exact value. 1.5789473 six, eight. All right, times 10 to the minus sixth. So we get a value here of about 0 0.197, I guess, 197. And that's going to be in terms of seconds, right? That's the time constant. So now all you got to do, here's the here's all the numbers you need. Just find the values, plug them into your calculator, and you're good to go for the rest. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope that helped. Please remember to help us out if you can and subscribe. We appreciate it. And I look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.